fill out the paperwork. I put it on the computer, sent it to the state police, and they gave him a clean bill of health, nothing in his background. And once they approved the sale, he paid and left. Would the U.S. be better protected from psychopathic shooters like this guy if concealed firearms were legal, Gretchen? Susanna Hupp helped change gun laws in Texas to allow licensed gun owners to carry concealed weapons. She says more concealed weapons keeps people safer from gun violence. She's live for us in Austin. Good morning to you, Susanna. Good morning. Thanks for having me. And the reason that you feel so strongly about this as you do is because you have an extremely important, relevant personal story to share with viewers. Your parents were gunned down in Colleen, Texas at the Luby's Cafeteria there in 1991. Yeah. Of course, many people remember this tragedy when it unfolded there you were in the restaurant with them and you claim that had you been able to carry a concealed weapon you could have helped save the lives of your parents how well you sure can't argue with the fact that it would have changed the odds uh, people like this go into places where that are gun free zones I mean if you pay attention to what's been going on for the last 20 years all of these mass shootings have been in these these so-called gun free zones I think we've created a shopping list for uh, people who want a large body bag count there's no doubt in my mind that anyone having a gun in that restaurant that day would have made a difference. The body count would have been much lower. Several of the people who were killed also had their guns out in their vehicles. We had no way of carrying them legally at that point in Texas. Susanna, do you feel as though that these gunmen profile, when, they really, when you get the experts involved, that they don't want a gunfight, they just want to kill, and if they thought they were in a gunfight, they wouldn't go in? Well, obviously everyone is an individual, but again, when you look at all of these mass shootings over the last, I, I've got to say about 15 or 20 years, every one of them has been in a gun-free zone. I think they are looking for the highest body count they can possibly get. I mean, look at them. We've had Columbine, we've had daycare centers, we've had post offices, we've had this issue. And here was a situation where we knew we had concealed carry permit holders in that Virginia campus, but they weren't allowed to carry there. And I've got to tell you, at the point where a campus or any other place says you're not allowed to exercise your right here, then at that point, I believe that they have taken on not only the responsibility for your health and safety, mm. but they've taken on the liability as well. Okay, so recently Virginia Tech officials testified at a legislative hearing against the right. professors or students being able to carry a concealed weapon if they were over the age of 21. So you're saying that you're, you're absolutely convinced that had they been able to carry weapons, that, that we would not have seen the death toll that we saw there on Monday. I think there's a huge likelihood that we would have, uh, number one, it probably wouldn't have happened. Now, you can't prevent somebody from going and killing their girlfriend or going and killing one or two people. But in a situation where they're wanting to rack up a high body bag count, yes, I think it would have, number one, deterred it, and number two, it would have stopped it if it did go ahead and occur. Susanna, in the past, uh, except for maybe one or two instances after a major uh, situation like this, people push for stricter gun laws. Do you see it, uh, the same scenario again, or you see people going more towards your line of thinking? You know, I think it's mixed, but I do think people are sick and tired of this scenario. And, and I, I will say again that if, if guns are the problem, then why don't we see these mass shootings happen at, at NRA conventions or, or gun shows or skeet and trap shoots? They don't. They because, happen where be, guns aren't allowed. Because your argument is that this guy, this kind of a whacked out guy, is going to do this no matter what, how, however hard it is to get a gun. They want to kill people like fish in a barrel, and I can't begin to tell you how frustrating it is to be one of those fish with absolutely no way of defending yourself, and that is something the politicians have created. I want to know why my teachers in my kids' school can't defend themselves. Right. I can. Well, very interesting and controversial argument. I'm sure we're going to be hearing more about this in the coming weeks. Susanna Hupp, thanks for your perspective this morning. Thank you very much for having me. Meanwhile.